what is going on guys Chris here of Chris collects bringing you another video uh, today we got another unboxing video and this is a different video this is something new new series I don't know how well that's gonna go though because this is kind of a harder thing to come by uh, but we have a box here this is from fugitive toys and if anybody knows anything about subscription boxes and mystery boxes stuff like that uh, you'll know fugitive toys does a box called the F box and that's what this is. This is the F-Box. This is the F-Box for February. And the theme, uh, I think they just revealed was WD. They didn't say what it was. Everybody thinks it's Walking Dead. That's what I'm assuming it is because Walking Dead just came out, obviously, again, the show. And so the F-Box is a little bit different compared to, like, Loot Crate or My Geeky Goodies. It's not a subscription box. The F-Box, uh, you pay. It'll, they'll randomly put it up on the website. So you gotta, it's better to follow them on Twitter or Facebook. And they'll post on there when it goes up. It's like twenty three ninety nine, I think. Um, they post it. It goes up. It's first come, first serve. quantities. And then that's it. And then, so if I want to get the one for March, the Xbox for March, I have to go and buy the box. It's not subscription-based. Like I said, it's just random. It's just a, a monthly thing you have to go and buy. So, but from what I've seen, it's been pretty, pretty solid. Uh, solid box. So I figured, why not? And just by looking in here, this is definitely Walking Dead stuff. So, that's pretty cool. I'm a big Walking Dead fan. So, we'll see how this goes here. Looks like there's... Okay, there's two pops. Now, I'm a huge Walking Dead fan. But I'm not a huge Walking Dead pop fan, if that makes sense. The only reason I'm not trying to collect the pops is because there's so many Walking Dead pops. And there's too many characters to have. So, I just kind of have, like some of the characters that I like, like I have Headless Herschel, um, Daryl, and then I have the zombie girl, bicycle girl that I got from the Mikey, I can't remember what I said, that. the Mikey Goody is the one box, so, what we got here, this is pretty cool, I'm surprised this came in the box, it's the Bloody Carl, and that's a 7-Eleven exclusive, I'm not sure how they got their hands on that, honestly, but that's pretty cool. Uh, this guy was exclusive to 7-Eleven, obviously. Hard to come by. I'm not the biggest fan of Carl as a character, at least in the show. But since it is an exclusive, I'll probably hold on to that one. I don't know. We'll see. And then we also got the Governor. Pretty cool. So we have the Governor, and we got uh, Carl. So that's two pops right there. Probably, I don't know what the value of the 7-Eleven Carl is currently, but if you say each of those pops are 9 bucks, you're already up to 18 bucks. the box is 23 So we're almost close there, and I can see right in here we already have enough value. We have a pen, a Walking Dead pen. Dead, dead on it. It's got Rick Grimes. I don't know if it's going to focus on it. Focus. Focus. No, but you can tell it's Rick Grimes from there, obviously. So a uh, new pen I can use. Cool. And then we got a mystery mini. I like the mystery minis. They're cool. This is a series three mystery mini. So you have Rick, uh, Daryl, Herschel, Governor, or no, that's Glenn, sorry, Tyrese, Carol, Maggie, Abraham, Zombies, Bloody Tyrese, Beat Up Glenn, you get uh, Daryl's Chopper, pretty cool. Oh, and they have Headless Herschel, 1 out of 72. I hope to God I can get Headless Herschel, because that would be awesome. Going next to my, um, my, what, my Headless Herschel Funko Pop, I would die for that. But he's, um, he's one of the rarest, he's 1 in 72, so I highly doubt I'm going to get it. Like, you never know. I could be lucky. Today could be my lucky day. Probably not, because I don't even know where my box cutter went. So I doubt today is a good day or a lucky day. But what do you know? So, pop this open here. Let's see what we got. See, I don't collect the Walking Dead pops either, because I'm really short on space for pops. So, there's so many of them. What do we got? Well, he's... I don't think he's headless. Unfortunately. No, not headless. Ooh, it's just Glenn. Regular Glenn. Still cool, but uh, yeah, just regular Glenn. I like Glenn. He's a cool character, but not my favorite, but 
still, still a cool little, cool figure to have. So there we got that. We also have Walking Dead dog tags. Uh, let's see. Season 2 update set. One dog tag, one sticker, and one D-ring. Oh, um, it's a carabiner. That's cool. Let's, uh, get this open here if I can. Without my box cutter. What the heck did I do with my box cutter? Oh, here it is. I'm stupid. It's on my, on my couch. Alright, guys. Just ignore that. I'm kind of dumb at this moment in time, but it's okay. So. That was close. I almost cut the sticker there, but. I know this is the Walking Dead checklist. Oh, this is a sticker. So there's just a sticker of zombies and zombie people being zombies. I don't even remember what episode that's from, I think. But, you know, okay, zombies. Then we got, oops, don't drop something. Where'd it go? I think that was just the, um, the key ring for the carabiner. There's a little carabiner, gold, walking dead on it. And then we got a Daryl dog tag. As you can see there. Probably never going to use that or wear that, but that's cool. And then finally, last thing in the box. Is this bad boy right here. It is a Rick Grimes plushie. And I don't know who it's by. Oh, it's a Funko. It is a Funko Pop plushie. As you can see by the little tag here, comes with a little gun. His gun's actually like plastic. That's kind of cool. He's got his little scruff on there. That's the cool little plush there. So that's actually a pretty awesome box. Like I said, even though I don't collect, no, I'm not huge on collecting the Walking Dead pops. I got two cool ones. I'll, I'm sure I'll keep them. Maybe get rid of the governor. I don't know. But uh, definitely a big step up from Loot Crate and Mikey's Goodies, at least if you're a Walking Dead fan. If you're not a Walking Dead fan and you got this, yeah, it's not. It's not going to be pretty for you. Uh, but it's definitely good value because the two pops alone are probably 18 bucks, probably maybe more. I don't know what the 7-Eleven Carl is running for. And then you have the, the plushie, which I don't know how much that is. Even if you say 7 bucks, you're already up to, you know, 18, 19, 20, 20 five dollars or something like that this is only 23 and then you also got the mystery mini which are like six bucks and you have the dog tags so pretty awesome value definitely gonna try to get next month's that box if i can't tier uh if i can awesome we'll try like i said i don't know how how much uh continuity series is gonna have because i'm gonna be able to grab a hold of it before it sells out with work and stuff so but yeah Thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the F-Box. If you thought it was good, if you thought it was not good, if you enjoyed it. And leave a comment if you got any opinions. Uh, like the video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you're not, if you don't want to, that's cool too. I love you anyway. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. So thanks guys. Later.